All right, so I thought I'd show y'all how to assemble the thermostat for the incubator. So all this comes in a bag, I already have the bag open, and then you have a little wing nut that goes on, I guess you could kind of say upside down, so you just spin that on, just like that. So I just spin it all the way up, and then you turn the incubator up, so you can see right here, hold that up for me right there. You can see it goes right in here in this little slot. So I'm gonna get in from the back side, and it kind of threads in uh, to the little cutout. So I'll, you can't see on the other side, but I'm just spinning that around. I think you can see it coming through. And then now here's the hard part right here. You gotta hold this and line this up. And Sometimes it's pretty easy and it looks like it's going to cooperate this time. So it looks like it's going to work. And then you just hold it once you get it threaded on there. You hold it, get it tight. And there it is. And then all right, we can flip it back over. I can adjust the wing nut down now. Just kind of roll it down. And if you look on the top right here, you can see it has the increase and decrease the temperature. So you spin this to increase or to decrease the temperature. So what we're gonna do here is we've got the quail racks. Do y'all have those assembled over there? Mm -hmm. We got the quail racks. We can uh, put all this over on the table. We already have the water in. Before we actually put the quail eggs in, we're gonna let this run probably an hour or two or three. It says like a half a day to make sure that it's maintaining temperature, but we're not in any real hurry as long as we get these eggs in today. And I'm on, and it's like nine o'clock almost now. So I'm gonna let this thing run, plug it up, and we're gonna see if it maintains that 100 degree or like 99.5 degree temperature. And then if it does, we'll put the quail eggs in these racks and um, we'll try to figure out what to do with the rest of the eggs. All right, stay tuned.